Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Um, we do offer assistance. It's called a personal care assistance. If somebody requires help with bathing or dressing or an activity of daily living, um, transitioning, toileting, any of those things, that's what we're here for. When doing those things in the home is no longer safe, that's what you come to assisted living for. Um, and individual service plans are different for every single member of our community. Some people require very little to nothing at all on the independent side. Some people in our Jerry Psych piece require an enormous amount of personal care. And Marilyn McLean can talk with us. She's a wonderful historian as well. She's been here for a long time. And she can talk with us more about different individual service plans. So I'm going to introduce Marilyn McLean right now. And she can talk a little bit about a typical service plan for somebody that would come in. And there is an enormous amount of coordination of care. When you come to Golden Pond, it's not just you come here and you're in your apartment. You interact with the nursing staff, with our home health care um, and CNA staff, and it's, it's constantly back and forth. Just for example, today we had a woman who may have had a, a, a vein issue. We got an ultrasound company to come in, do an ultrasound. She's here waiting for the results tonight. So we take our jobs very personally, and we're, we're very engaged in our community. So Marilyn? Yes, we have a company that comes in to do ultrasound x-rays and different diagnostic studies. Golden Pond Assisted Living has been here for, I believe, about 22 years. Um, and it was one of the first assisted livings in New England. Uh, it's owned by two brothers, has always been owned by two brothers, and always will be owned by two brothers. Um, that being said, we are not a conglomerate. Um, we, there's only one of us, and it's right here in Hopkinton, and we have no plans to go corporate. We have more of a family setting here. It's very casual. Uh, everybody knows your name, and it's all on a first name basis. Um, there's something for everyone here at Golden Pond. And I have to say that both Jen and I practice what we preach because my favorite aunt is here, and her grandmother is here. Um, and they're very well taken care of. Because we are an independent assisted living, Everybody has their own personal care plan. We do not use tiers in that if you require an hour a day of care, you're in tier one, which means you pay $5,000. It's not like that at all. Everything is individual, a la carte, if you will. Um, the food is excellent, and it's all very healthy. Um, unfortunately, we all gain weight while we're working here or living here, but we exercise. We have catered to many people's diets. Um, a lot of assisted living facilities can't do this, but we do it. From anything from ground or pureed foods when need be, to just wonderful, sometimes we have lobsters, prime rib, um, we have a wonderful selection of food. And food is very important to the people that live here. One of the most important parts of the day. Um, it's, it's a time where people get to socialize with each other. There's um, assigned seats. Um, and they get to communicate. So they become very close. At Golden Pond, the residents become your family. And for many residents, we're their only family. If you were to come into Golden Pond and you were very healthy, you would be pretty fortunate. Um, our ages here run anywhere from someone in their 50s to our oldest resident, which is, who is 
104 years old, and she certainly doesn't look it. Um, as I said, everyone's care plan is different. If you have medications that you have to take, we can assist you in that. We have a pharmacy that comes in at least three times a day and delivers the meds without charge. And we also have our very own medical director and his nurse practitioner comes in once a week. She was here today, spends the whole day and checks out everyone that needs it. We give the flu shots. Um, we're gonna have a flu clinic pretty soon. And also we have our own psychiatrist um, who comes to us from McLean Hospital. He spends a day here, an evening here on Thursdays. And we also have a psychologist that's local that comes in to see, everyone comes in to see the resident so they don't have to go anywhere. We have a podiatrist, we have a dentist, um, and of course we have eye associates that are right across the street. Um, we also are not skilled care. Skilled care, the difference between assisted living and a nursing home is something called skilled care. If it's skilled care that you need, you, that would mean that you would have to have a professional, a nurse, a doctor, every day to assist in your care. In assisted living, although I'm a nurse, I can't really have hands-on care. Um, we're under the regulations of the Mass Alpha, the Massachusetts Assisted Living Association. Um, so our goal is to keep everyone healthy and independent. And in order to do that, we have several exercise programs, exercise for the mind as well as the body. Our memory care unit is very small. It's 14 beds. It's fully staffed 24 hours a day as are all of our units. The, it's, it's a known fact that if you keep your mind exercised every day, you will have a more sound thought process. So you can't really cure dementia, but you can prevent more dementia in many ways, depending upon your brand of dementia. But if you keep your mind exercised, just like your muscles in your body, it's going to serve you better. So we have a lot of programs for our residents with memory impairment. And sometimes, but not very often, they like to watch TV. They like to watch Jeopardy, and they like to watch I Love Lucy. Some of the other, we play a lot of word games. And as far as the other units go, the Gero Psych unit, Although it is a locked unit, a lot of people come and go pretty much as they please. And there is a small environment in both those areas because it's a known fact that wide open spaces tend to make people anxious. So they're very small units and they're very well catered to and they're very highly staffed. In the large, this is our brand new um, unit um, and we just built this a year ago. And this houses our more independent residents. And for those residents, we have m many different activities. Um, our Golden Pond residents just came back from a day at the Cape. So they, they do that frequently. A few times a year, they go to Cape Cod, and they go down to the canal, and they have lunch at one of the local restaurants. Um, some of the more energetic residents walk the beach and um, go for a swim. Others that can't do that stay right at the canal and they have a wonderful time. Sometimes our uh, residents in the dementia unit will be found going to Hopkinton State Park for a picnic. Sometimes they go to the Golden Spoon for coffee they go mall walking a couple of times a week and to the museums, to the garden facilities, um, to Target, to the Charm and Charlie's. 
sometimes to Walgreens. So they're pretty busy here. I think often residents, nobody really likes to leave their home. It's a difficult thing to do. That's where your memories are. But I always guarantee that after a couple of months, those people who say, I really didn't want to come here, but my family thought it would be best, are the same people that say, uh, I think you better get me back to, to my home. I think I want to go back to Golden Pond. It's time. They're having Bible study, or they're having the movie, the Saturday night movie. So it becomes their home. It's a wonderful place to be. When, you, when a resident might fall, or maybe have an illness, like congestive heart failure that requires a hospitalization, we send them to the hospital. And oftentimes, they go from the hospital to rehabilitation. When they're well enough to come back, when they're at their baseline, then we screen them, and they come back to their home. When they cannot, when they require more skilled care, the care that they need a nurse with hands-on every day and doctors, and physical therapy and occupational therapy, then they have to move on to a nursing home. But for the most part, our residents pretty much age in place here. Um, and we've had many people be here for many, many years, and it's their last place to go before they die. So it is, in fact, their home. We also have two care companies that um, are in this building in physical therapy, occupational therapy, and nursing. So one is a visiting nurses association, and one is a physical therapy company, Genesis and Care Tenders, and they're excellent. So that when we need them, they're right there. They're right here in our building, and they take care of our residents.